Boys and girls, pause up. Good morning, Panthers, and happy Friday. This is Miss Owens, your principal, and I'm so excited to share with you our new school-wide, wildly important goal. Wildly important goal means this is important and everybody's gonna participate. So let's get started. Way back in August, at the beginning of the school year, we talked about our three school goals. To be a leader, to be safe and kind, and to be a learner. And that's what we're gonna focus on for this goal. So each week after fall break, we are going to focus on how to do all three of those rules in each area of our building. These are all things you guys came up with. You helped your teachers brainstorm what these behaviors looked like in each area of our building. So we're going to practice them all together. Now here comes the best part. Our school goal is that each and every one of you, means 100% of our students, will meet your personal behavior goal. Here's the even better part. At the end of seven weeks, every class that has every student meeting their personal behavior goal gets to have a representative play pie face with me. Oh yeah, we'll play pie face. Now let's hear from some representatives of our school talking about each area and how to demonstrate be a leader, be safe and kind, and be a learner. Listen closely because each week you're going to pick one of those areas to practice as your personal behavior goal. By being a leader is to sit up tall, listen to the speaker, ask good questions, nod their head, talk when appropriate, raise your hands. By being safe and kind, you can keep your hands and feet to yourself. The first rule is be a learner, do your work. Um, and when the teacher says, pause up, you raise your hands. All right, fourth grade, please show me slant. Excellent, thank you. Your eyes are on me and you are all sitting up. It is time to clean up. Paola, keep that closed. Thank you. Boys and girls, pause up. Today we're going to be talking about bathroom rules. Uh, first off, we have flush the toilet. Flushing the toilet. Make sure you flush the toilet so, so the bathroom doesn't smell and also to keep our bathrooms clean and sanitary. And don't discuss people out. Um, you have to wash your hands whenever you're out of the bathroom so you don't spread germs around the school and you don't get sick. Make sure to dry your hands after you wash them so you go to class with nice, clean, dry hands. And, uh, pick up trash. Uh, pick up trash to make sure we don't litter everywhere. And it makes, uh, make sure we don't make um, more work for the people who come here after school to clean up every, all the mess we made during the day. how you could be a leader in the cafeteria. You have to clean your own spot because teachers are not always going to clean your spot. And it is your mess, so you have to clean your mess. And you, because we have to use cry devices in the cafeteria because if the alarm goes off, um, 
um, our te maybe teachers have to say that can you use cry voices? But if we use cry voices, our teachers don't have to tell us like a thousand times use cry voices. And when we do pause up, um, we should do pause up because we teachers are saying something to us important. How we can be safe and kind in the cafeteria is we can keep our hands and our feet to ourselves. We can eat only our food and we can be inclusive. How we can be a leader in the cafeteria is by listening to the speaker and following directions. Boys and girls, pause up. To be a leader, we be we have quiet voices in the library, and we also put our books back. We also return our books. Be safe and kind. Treat books with respect. Keep our hands and feet to ourselves. Being learner, try hard books. Focus on your own book. safe and kind is to have walking feet and sit with your hands on your like knees or in your lap or in your pockets or under your bottom. So being a leader is listening to the speaker and not talking when you're talking. Um, Boys and girls, pause up. Thank you, Panthers. You all did a great job talking about our rules and how they look in each area of our building. Let's talk a little bit more about your personal behavior goal. Each week, you're going to get a sheet of paper that looks something like this. And your job is to pick one area each week that you want to work on. Let's look at how that might sound. My goal for this week. Put my name on the bar. I'm going to circle a section and be a leader that I want to focus on working this week. Um, let's do raise my hand. Now, this week I will practice that one area that I circled, and that's how I earn a smiley face. Alrighty, um, so first of all, you're going to write your name on the line where it says name, and then I'm going to pick one of the behaviors from one of these boxes, and I'll write it down. So, this week I will listen to the speaker. And that is how I will earn my smiley face. Thanks, Josie and Kai. You both picked some great goals to work on. At the bottom of the page, you will see a whole bunch of smiley faces and some frowny faces. At the end of each day, you're going to do a little self-reflection and think, did you work on your goal? And if you did, you're going to fill in the smiley face. 
If it was a hard day, you're going to fill in the frowny face. And then you and your accountability partner at the end of the week will decide together how you did. Okay, now it's the end of the day and I think that I raised my hand a lot today. Kai, do you think I raised my hand a lot today? I think you did as well. Okay, now my turn. Um, it's the end of the day and I think that I listened to the speaker pretty well. What do you think I did, Josie? I do think you listened to the speaker. Who's ready to get started working on your personal panther behavior goal? I know I'm ready. Plus, I want to play some pie face. Have a great fall break, everyone, and stay tuned for some funny bloopers. Alright, whenever you are ready. Yes. Yeah, but we just all sit like this. Like one two, one's like in the middle and then we'll talk to the side. I like it. Ooh, we could do like a you one, start two. and then I start, then you start, then I start. Yeah. So like what I do this. Okay. Yeah. Are we starting? Whenever you want. Start now. Okay. Wait, which one am I doing? You're doing this one. No, 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 no. She's doing this one. Okay. So Alex, if you're starting, then you can say. We're gonna be demonstrating the bathroom rolls. We don't like to demonstrate. How about talking about the bathroom rolls? All right, Abby, save that one more. Okay, three, two, one, go. Get first.